So we are going to start with the magic ring. To make a magic ring, you can simply make the loop like this. Just uh, put the long tail on top of short, then insert into the ring, into the loop, grab the long tail, and then simply pull yarn over, pull through the loop on the hook. That's your magic ring. And now you are going to make six single crochet. So what you have to do, insert your hook inside the magic ring, grab the yarn, two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two. This is your first single crochet. Insert the yarn, grab, and repeat. This is your second. And like that we have to make six. Insert the yarn, grab, two loops, yarn over, pull through two. You have three single crochet, one, two, three. And as I said, we need six. We have four, insert, two loops, grab, five, and six. So you have to have six of these chains on top. Then you can pull the tail. And the next thing we can do actually is to use the marker instead of marker i'm using the contrast color yarn place between your last and first stitch and just keep like that so here is our first single crochet we go under both loops and we are making an increase so two loops one go under both loops Grab the yarn, two. And now you have two single crochet from the same stitch. We are going to make two single crochet into the same stitch six times. So just continue, four. And at the end you must have 12. Right now I have 12 stitches. You can count all the stitches around. And now place the marker again between last and first stitch. And we are going to make one single crochet, as I showed you before, and an increase. An increase means two stitches. One and two. Then again one single crochet and an increase, two stitches two stitches I mean two stitches into the same chain when you put two times your hook so we have one single so just one and then an increase when there are two single crochet into the same stitch so continue until you will have 18 stitches well, now we have 18 stitches and now we have to move to the next row to have 24 stitches in total after this row. So we are going to start with one single crochet, then another single crochet into the next stitch and an increase into the next stitch. Increase, as you know, is two single crochet into the same stitch. And you continue two single crochet and then increase until the end of this row. So just like that, you must finish this row and you must have 24 stitches in total. And we are starting our fifth row. You are going to make 21 single crochet. So just make one single crochet into each stitch. One, two and until you have 21 stitches and then I explain I will explain how to proceed so I have 21 single crochet now yarn over and we are making one half double crochet so insert grab the yarn three loops 
yarn over, pull through all three. And then we are going to make an increase. So one half double crochet, yarn over and one half double crochet into the same stitch. And we have two half double crochet from the same stitch, yarn over and the last half double crochet into the next stitch. And we finish row five, we are starting row six. So move the marker, row six, three single crochet, one, two, and three. Right now you are going to make chain four. One, two, three, four. And after the hook you count three stitches, three chains. One, two, three. And into the third you are going to slip stitch. Then chain two. One, two. And into the same where you had the single crochet, you slip stitch. So you have something that looks like a fin. It's a fin, our first fin. And then we are going to make 14 single crochet. One, two, continue until you make 14. Right now we are going to make another fin. So. After 14 single crochet, you chain 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then you count the third. 1, 2, 3. And into the third, you are going to make a slip stitch. Grab the yarn, pull through the loop on the hook. And now you are going to chain 1. And where you had the single crochet, you are going to make the slip stitch. That's our second fin. And right now you are going to make three single crochet. One, two, three. Then yarn over, one half double crochet. Then an increase of half double crochet so one half double crochet and the next half double crochet into the same stitch and now we are going to start the tail so make five chain five three four five so slip stitch into the third after the hook, one, two, three, into the third chain after the hook. Then make three, chain three, one, two, three. And slip stitch into this where you had the half double crochet. You just slip stitch. And we have one part of the tail. Um, now you are going to make chain six, three, four, five, six, and then count the third chain after the hook, one, two, three, slip stitch, chain two, one, two, and slip stitch into the same where you slip stitch before. So everything into the same stitch. And that's how our tail looks like now. And now we are going to make two half double crochet into the next stitch. So yarn over one another half double crochet into the next stitch one two 
and one single crochet into this last stitch that was row six after row six you must have something that looks like this like our little whale and now move the marker and we are starting the next row we are starting with uh, row seven with uh, three single crochet so I move the marker and I'm going to start with three single crochet one two and the third one now we are going to skip the fin so we go directly into this single crochet making the fin smaller like this and we are going to make 14 single crochet one two three so continue until you have 14 and now we arrive to the second fin and we have to do the same you just keep your knot crocheting anywhere here you just keep and move directly to this uh, single crochet so you make under the fin you make one and two single crochet so that's it and then two half double crochet one and the second one here and then you have to make to have double crochet with the same uh, top so it's with the same cluster you have to make uh, like that let me show you again as if we are starting one half double crochet so here one half double crochet and then yarn over and the other one so you have five loops and we go through all five then we are skipping the tail again and we are making another cluster of half double crochet so i insert directly into the stitch after the tail and i'm going to make one yarn over move to another one i have five loops and i go through all five like decrease of half double crochet and uh, one half double crochet into the last stitch and our row is done now in total you must have 24 stitches if you count that's how it must look like right now and we must change the color into the white yarn so all the difficult part is done now it's super easy you're going to change the color of the yarn um, well right now I'm thinking how to do that uh, change the marker you don't need right now because we will have different color I'm thinking to undo the last half double crochet and finish the row in a way that I have three loops on the hook so basically I just undid the last stitch until I have three loops and I will pull the white yarn through all the loops so it will be sort of invisible color change uh oh it's stuck so that's oh. 
that's the way I want to make it and now I'm going to make 21 single crochet into the next stitch so just make 21 that's why I ended so here is just fully new color two and continue with 21 so I have made 21 single crochet we have the last three stitches under the tail and we are going to make half double crochet so one half double crochet the second half double crochet and the third half double crochet our row eight is done and we must have 24 stitches we didn't make any decrease in this row we just changed the color and now row nine we are going to make decrease so we have to make two single crochet and one decrease so one two and a decrease it means you insert the hook grab the yarn and keep two loops then insert into the next one and grab the yarn pull through all three so you have a decrease and continue the row with two single crochet and one decrease insert grab the yarn keep the loop insert into the next stitch keep three loops and pull through all three continue two single crochet one decrease so right now you have to put the eyes for the whale you can decide where you want the eyes to be i have safety eyes that i want to use and one second uh, you can also make them with the yarn so you can make embroidery eyes or uh, use other types of eyes that you have so right now you have to decide normally I make just one row above the red color and just insert them and use these safety pins so that's I will show you how I did it for the blue one you decide the number of stitches or if you want to put them closer or far depending on the look of the whale you want so I will make them approximately the same I think maybe if I put somewhere here it will be fine and right now if you want you can already stuff your whale with some hollow fiber as we are going to continue our decrease or you can start to decrease or to fulfill it after the next row the next row is also very easy you are going to make one single crochet and one increase so one single crochet and one sorry decrease decrease insert now we are decreasing to close the tummy one and after this row you must have 12 stitches in total so decrease our whale is re really fast and easy so right now you must fulfill your stomach and continue to make even more decrease the next row we are going to decrease until six stitches you are going to make six decreases so just make a row of decrease each stitch you must decrease until you have six 
and meanwhile fulfill your will with the hollow fiber or with leftover yarn with whatever you want and continue row of decrease i have finished row 10 oh sorry row 11 and now i have six stitches left i'm going simply to cut the yarn and now uh, i will close this hole so just insert the hook or oh, the yarn into tapestry needle and then you have to pick up all the stitches like all around here and then simply close the yarn you can even go through some holes if you have to make them less visible on the tummy and simply make some stitches that's actually enough And then after you have finished, you just insert the yarn uh, with the needle and go until the top of the whale where we start with our magic ring if you want to create the water effect. And just pull it to the center, pull the yarn from the tummy and then you can cut like that and simply make it more like wavy look to look like the water so it's really cute one that's it our whale is done i think you enjoyed this tutorial I really love simple amigurumi patterns that don't require sewing the parts of the hands and uh, legs or whatever. This pattern is really perfect for beginners. It's really cute and you can use it as a keychain or a toy for your baby or anything you want to. You can make aquarium of them. I think it's really nice to make them. Thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel see you again next time i just forgot to tell you why i kept this uh, yarn like this because when i play with my son i like to put my finger inside and then pretend that the whale is actually moving or saying something to him he really loves this thing and uh, sometimes we play this kind of games with the crochet toys if you don't want, you simply don't keep this loop. You just close with the yarn and that's it. But if you want to play with your kid, maybe it's like as if you have a finger puppet or like this and he will enjoy. That's the thing that you can attach or add as extra part that's good okay that's it see you again next time